Hey everyone, uh, Josh Ramirez here from Small Form Factor Network and we have a really interesting exclusive teardown. Uh, we were able to get permission, uh, Corsair has given this to us actually, so we're going to be able to sort of take it apart and, and tease it apart. Uh, and it's really interesting, it isn't something uh, that we heard either through the rumor mill or anything that was pre-announced by Corsair. Uh, and so we wanted to get our hands on it as soon as possible. Now as you can see, what we have uh, in front of me, this is a, a brand new keyboard that's part of their uh, input device line. It's a portable small form factor keyboard. Uh, now it's got RGBs because who would ever want to buy anything without RGBs nowadays? Uh, but as you can see, they've uh, really realized uh, that there's a lot of redundancy in the way most keyboards today are designed. Uh, and so what they've done is they've simplified the keyboard dramatically uh, by actually compacting it down to a single key. Uh, in addition, it actually also includes this uh, storage device here uh, that is uh, accessible over a standard USB. So you can see it's a 16 gig. Uh, and so this is actually already almost a complete computer if you think about all the individual components. Uh, but in any case, uh, we wanted to see what it looks like from the inside. Uh, and so we're just gonna take a second to uh, take it apart. As you can see, it is a uh, plastic enclosure, reasonably durable. And it's really only held on the back by uh, these two screws here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these open. And uh, fortunately, they're not pentalobe or anything completely obnoxious. So uh, I fix it. I'm sure we'll appreciate modularity, eight out of 10 at least. Now, as we remove this shield here, I'll make sure I don't lose the screws. I'll just tilt that to the side here. Uh, as you can see, we have now actually uh, fully removed the storage device. So if this ever breaks, it's actually very easy to uh, replace, which is good. Uh, and then on the inside here, we have a uh, disc-like power bank, which uh, fortunately just slides in or out, very modular design. Unfortunately, the actual uh, PCB uh, that holds the switch for the key uh, is, is pressed in, as you can see. It's got these sort of like uh, plastic standoffs. So that's not really great news when it comes to uh, reliability, so to speak. Uh, obviously, time will tell the reliability of the part as a whole, how long you can expect it to last, but I was really hoping for uh, basically screws to be used throughout the uh, system. Uh, now, if we turn to the front here, I do want to point something out. Obviously, uh, in simplifying the design of the keyboard, uh, you only have one key. Uh, some unimaginative people might not really know how to actually use this keyboard. Uh, so it's actually a very simple system. Uh, what you do is, uh, if you know Morse code, uh, you can actually do inputs through dots and dashes. So uh, if I wanted to do SFF, I don't know Morse code, I've only had this for an hour or two, but it would just be a sequence of dots and dashes or a short or long presses to, to uh, enter text in. It's, it's really an incredibly uh, intuitive and, and simple system. And, and needless, to see, needless to say, here at Small Form Factor, we're just so excited um, to see our focus of really simplifying design and making things as compact as possible uh, arrive on the input device realm. Because when you, when you look at something like this, I mean, this is just ridiculous. I think we can all agree. It's just too much. This is almost assuredly the future. And let me tell you, Corsair, you've got something special here. That's Joshua Ramirez signing off from Small Form Factor Network.